If you want to know which are the best alpine climbing routes around Helbronner on the Mont Blanc Massif, then keep watching. But first remember to subscribe to our channel to receive more videos about alpine climbing around Europe. Hilborna is on the Italian side of the Mont Blanc Massif and you can approach this area from several different ways. If you are staying in Chamonix, you can take the lift to Aguil du Midi and hike over Val Blanche. Or you can actually take your car and drive through the immense 16 km long Mont Blanc tunnel to Comayeur on the other side and take the lift from there up to Punta Hilborna. Just next to Punta Helbonna at 3,300 meters, uh, there is the Torino Hut. And this is an excellent base for alpine climbing around Helbonna. But more about that later. Let's start by taking a look at the different climbs around the area. In the near proximity of the Torino Hut, you'll find the Aguil Mabre Traverse, which is a stunning ridge climb at 80 plus 5A. And you'll also find the Petit Flambeu, it is northeast ridge at Great PD. But there's also a lot of other great peaks to explore around uh, the Torino Hut and in the Hellbrunner area, such as uh, Tour Ronde and Aguil Angtrevert. Um, a lot of different climbs that grade from AD to TD. But if you choose to venture further east, then you'll find the colossal Dent de Jean or Dente del Gigante. I did a vlog about this particular climb a few weeks ago and uh, this is definitely a climb that should be on every alpinist's tick list. Even further east you'll find the Roquefort Ridge and the Grand Terrasse, an area that is worth a vlog in itself and something that's definitely on my tick list. If you're looking for hard alpine rock climbing then you should definitely hike from the Torino Hut to Mont Blanc du Secul where you'll find the Grand Capuchin. Here there are some excellent hard rock climbing such as the Switch route which is a TD plus, a 6B plus and the Bonatti Gigo a uh, ED1 uh, 6C+. Plus. But if you're looking for something less uh, serious than that, then there's the Petit uh, Capuchin with its more doable uh, 5C uh, uh, Grade B, uh, lifting the Roy. And further up north, you'll find the Pyramide de Tacul with its East Ridge, which offers a 5A uh, rock climb. But you should be aware that there has just been a major rock slide at the uh, Pyramide de Tacul recently, so you should be very aware about uh, climbing there and you should probably investigate uh, what you can actually do. As mentioned earlier, the uh, Torino Hut will be your base for the climbing around Helbonner. The hut is very big and there's plenty of room for you to plan out your climbing around the area. The food there is nothing special, it's definitely not the same standard as the Albert de Premier Hut uh, on the La Tour Glacier that I spoke about in an earlier vlog about that area. Um, but it will definitely satisfy your hunger. And if not, there's a bar where you can get some cake and some beers too. There's also a dry room with an adequate room for you to uh, gear up and, and sort your gear. You should be aware that there's no bivy places outside the hut, so if you choose to bring your own tents, then you have to camp at uh, Col du Jean, just uh, north of the hut. So the Hill Bonner area is definitely a very nice place to be alpine climbing. There's a wide variety of different alpine climbs there. So what's your favorite alpine climbing route around Hill Bonner? Leave a comment below. <laughs> 